There's some quality MMO gameplay right there, Sotorino. This is. I thought he's live streaming an MMO right now. Please let let the man let the man focus on his MMO. Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name's Skylint, and today we're gonna do a stupid fun video. I think. Okay, so you might know I have some strong opinions over what the definition of MMO should be, can be, but apparently isn't. According to every MMO site out there, old and new, I know Nox new site, has four player games out there as, uh, yeah, stated as MMO. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but if you're with me and you think that there should be a distinction in genre terminology when it comes to truly massive games, well, I think this list video is going to be a good one. I am going to suggest that we don't call chess and MMO. However, if we can't beat them, friends, then we'll play a different game. Okay, let's make an entirely new genre term. And I say we call them MMOs. Well, phonetically, it's MMOs, but it's E-M-M-O. E for emphasis, so it's kind of like inverted MMO light. So just move it to the other side, change it to a symbol, E for emphasis, MMO. I think it just works. So, yeah, guys, this is going to be a list of actually freaking massive multiplayer online games. Games that are truly, uniquely different because, you know, they're massive. Alright guys, uh, the first game I want to talk about is going to be RuneScape, because that was my first MMO proper. Uh, so this is a title that I guess you can define it as sandbox in some ways, but it's kind of more built on the classical principles where it's like a theme park. But it's not. I guess you could say it would a theme park sandbox, a theme box. Yeah, probably that. Or maybe like a, I don't know, like a sand park. Sure, something. Um, but there, there's like this amoebus design philosophy, or maybe they just didn't know what they were doing. Probably that. But regardless, when you jump in the game, they do have like specific things you can do. You can just go skill. You can just go kill things. Uh, you can just go socialize. I, you can just kind of, in a way, do what you want. Quotations in this game. But really, uh, there are specific avenues that you run down, and mainly people are gonna have a lot of fun with the questing in RuneScape because. Hands down, it is the best of any MMO. Each quest is its own literal quest. It's its own kind of pocket adventure. Some of them are hilarious. A lot of them are just comical. You know, they're silly, they're good times. And some of them will actually make you think with your head and a lot of them, which you would expect in a very social genre like MMOs, yeah, you actually have uh, this required participation or you have people crossing paths with you all over the place. You know, they're, they're going from one attraction to the other. Yours might be right there in the middle. Now, hey, you're going to stop by, help you out and you can help them and stuff and things or, you know, player kill them. Sure, I guess a lot of things you can do in RuneScape. And I think a lot of it is charming. It might be a little bit dated now, but in terms of like games that echo whenever you say the term MMO, I think you hear back a few and one of them is RuneScape. Alright, next game that I think I should talk about that is really undebatably an MMO proper, well, emphasis, <laughs> is probably Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I want to mention this one a little bit earlier in the list here because in a lot of ways this is written like a standard Elder Scrolls game, so it's kind of confusing. It's written as if it's a single player game, like the quest specify you and you're supposed to do things specifically with individual items and you know go to these secret crypts and things that only you should be going into because you're the only person with the key but it is a little bit jarring because it's mechanically an mmo so the design it's like oh you're the hero you're the savior and then it's like well then what's this guy doing with this one-of-a-kind item that i'm only supposed to have and he's in this secret place that only i should know about that just that doesn't make a lot of sense anyways so a little bit jarring there but in terms of mechanics yeah it's an mmo it's open world uh, events open world questing and that pvp oh goodness that is that is siege that is epicosity especially with all the different builds that you can do i really appreciate that but yeah sticking to the fact of like it is an mmo it is a massive it's fantastic as long as you can kind of uh, you know hold your belief you know a suspension of disbelief i guess um when it comes to the questing just a little bit. Uh, so I think some people who love Elder Scrolls games come into this a little bit shaky, but dude, if you can appreciate the actual mechanics of the MMO of it, you're gonna have a freaking great time. All right, doodly doos. Let's talk about World of Warcraft, yeah? So WoW is a game that a lot of people love whenever they bring up like, uh, yeah, like Dungeon Divers or Dauntless. And they're like, dude, man, yeah, Dauntless is an MMO because in WoW, you just dungeon dive. Well, no, 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 that, that's the focus as of right now, that you might do that mostly. That is not all you do in the world of Warcraft. Open world PvP and vanilla used to be the biggest, baddest thing to do. 
there's still like open world bosses and rare mobs that you might want to group up for and there's still that open world questing to an extent i mean okay yeah it's a little bit laughable uh how much they've detracted from that concept though with the expansion they're looking to redo open world pvp even you know taken from like battle royale genres they might have supply crates dropping down uh they're gonna have full open pvp they're taking away pvp servers uh that you have now opt into pvp boom you're just now in the world of warcraft fantastic stuff there and a lot of their pve also is going to be held uh in contested zones i do believe they're the pve vp vp evp i don't know it's a little bit weird you jump into instances and things like that with the islands i'm unsure but regardless it's going to be a little bit more massive now uh, but still, even in its state that it is very much right now, currently, where you're going to go do these like instance quests and you're going to be doing these instance dungeons over and over again, that's still not all you do. The World of Warcraft is still the World of Warcraft. Regardless of what you choose to do, there is always that MMO component to WoW and that it will never leave. Uh, so, yeah, time to stop trying to call other games that are only ever for players more than that. All right, so next up, I'm definitely going to be talking about Planetside 2. Now, I don't think it is just the most bonkers, uh, you know, game out there in terms of polish and in terms of like feature set. However, it's going to make this list because in its specific genre where we have a shooter MMO, we don't have many of those. You could probably stretch and say stuff like Realm of the Mad God because it's a bullet hell. And there's a new game coming out called Foxel, and I know we had Darkfall and stuff like that. And you know, maybe you could stretch and say like Elder Scrolls because you could be an archer. No, not really. No, no, no. In terms of actual, real, first-person shooter focus in an MMO that's actually really massive, that's only Planet Side 2 right now. There might have been some others that tried like Firefall, but my dudes, Planet Side deserves a little bit more recognition. Even though I actually hate Daybreak games a lot, and that's publicly plastered on the internet, a mutual hate with each other, still, the fact that so many sites don't talk about Planet Side 2 is really weird. And you see their lists, and you see whenever you type in like shooter MMO, you find like eight player games, maybe 16 player games, and you see something like World of Tanks, but like my dudes, that's just team based shooters. That's a big team battle shooter or vehicular combat game. And then what Planet Side 2 is, is definitely a little bit more. So sure, fine, block it. All those things, MMOs, if you want to, we're going to call Planet Side 2 an EMMO, an MMO, uh, because it's actually really massive. It's not eight players, it's not 16 players, it's hundreds of players in a giant persistent uh, world or continent, and just things are going down constantly. It's an epic game that literally no other game reaches that epicosity, unless you count Eve, but Eve it's its own freaking beast, you know what I'm saying? Which probably should be on this list as well. But I wanted to mention Planet Side 2 because nobody talks about it, really, and it is special, and it deserves to be. Okay, and finally, Guild Wars 2. Now I'm putting Guild Wars 2 on this list, and I could have put so many MMO, and if I missed any, and you want to talk about it, how, you know, it's so massive, it's so epic, let me know what those games do in the comments below. But dudes, I'm going to talk about Guild Wars 2. This game has the biggest, most epic, most massive player counts and literally most massive world bosses. I know there's some in some other games. Sure, it's cool and cute, but compared to like Takadal inside of Guild Wars 2, that's literally like shooting tidal waves at you. And you're, you're like jumping across an entire zone, basically. Oh my goodness, it is so fantastic. It's actually really fun. Uh, you have different roles. It's not kind of just a Zerg fest. You have to go and kind of uh, maybe carry supplies from one point to another and fuel up a cannon or something and shoot it or a zap ray or some bogus thing. Uh, there's lots of different you know groups that have to form and do stuff in order to conquer these world bosses, some easier than others, uh, some more bigger than others. But regardless, they're all freaking massive and these consistently happen and that's not even talking about what's happening all around that with the open heart questing the open just like world it's not actually an open world it's actually highly instanced but regardless there's open world jumping puzzles open world seasonal events open world like everything everything is open and massive even the pvp with the world v world is just a big continent and you just go and do stuff which is the thing i plotted elder scrolls online for I actually like eso is a little bit better but regardless when it comes to open world pve content Guild Wars 2 is, in my opinion, the best and most freaking massive in more than just one way. 
All right, though, uh, that's going to be the end of my little list. So, I mean, it was a little bit predictable, probably. Uh, maybe I should have mentioned EVE Online, but hey, this isn't a top 10 or anything like that. Um, all I can say is that these games, yeah, they're, they're MMO. And I did specify them for very particular reasons. And in closing, what I want to say here is I also left off on Guild Wars 2 for a reason, being that Guild Wars 1 was not marketed as an MMO. It is not claimed to be an MMO because it's only a four player game. It's a cooperative action RPG. You could say action RPG, or I guess you could just say RPG. Uh, they, they call it just a co-op RPG. And the difference between if, okay, if we're going by the definition of all the MMO sites, a normal MMO, in my opinion, just a normal RPG, but whatever, uh, that game is Guild Wars 1, and then a real, truly emphasis on the massive, massively multiplayer online game is Guild Wars 2. Look at the difference between the two games, and you can see now clearly what I'm talking about. Hopefully with this list, it's just, you know, pretty obvious, hey, there's a, there is a difference between these games and then other games like, you know, Path of Exile, Diablo, Dauntless, Monster Hunter. There is a difference and it does matter. And it matters because we're, we're, you know, we're trying to find these games. We're trying to find these games new and returning players, trying to come back, jam, have a good time with a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, we want to play with a whole bunch of other dudes and, and you know, brothers and sisters want to come together and just jam and, I don't know, smash the monsters' faces or something like that. Or each other's. <laughs> it depends on the, you know, what you're feeling. But regardless, you might be feeling something a little bit more massive. You know, there is something more than just team-based PvP or 1v1 or, you know, chess is not an MMO. But anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Much love, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep the hype alive. I'll see you again next time. There's some quality MO gameplay right there.